Ears are brilliantly fascinating. They're in charge of collecting sounds, sending those sounds to your brain, which gives meaning to those sounds. Let's go and explore. Alex's Hearing Help Desk. Oh, poor old Professor Hallux. Looks like he's gone to sleep. I wonder what he's dreaming. Hello? Hello? Gosh, it's a bit dark in here. Or should I say, in ear? Ha! Thought as much. I'm inside a human ear. Ears are brilliantly fascinating. They're in charge of collecting sounds. Sending those sounds to your brain which gives meaning to those sounds. Let's go and explore. The ear is made up of three different sections. The outer ear is the part where I'm currently standing. Down there is the middle ear, and beyond, the inner ear. They all work together to help you hear and understand sounds. The outer ear collects sounds, a bit like a funnel, and points them into this hole here. This is called the ear canal, and that's where I'm going next. Gosh, this canal is sticky. It's covered in earwax. Although it's icky and gloopy, it has an important job. It stops stuff from getting stuck in your ear and helps fight off germs that make you sick. <laughs> Whoa, there's lots of sounds coming in from the outside. They're racing down the ear canal to the eardrum. The eardrum is a thin piece of skin that's stretched tight between the outer ear and the middle ear. Another term for the eardrum is the tympanic membrane, which comes from the same word as timpani. That's the big kettle drum used in orchestras. Right, let's squeeze through to the other side of the eardrum. Breathe in, everyone. That was a tight squeeze. Vibrations from the eardrum are transmitted through to these three amazing tiny bones called ossicles that help deliver sound into the inner ear. These clever ossicles have some funny names. The first ossicle is called the malleus, then there's the incus, and the last is the stapes. They are the smallest bones in the body. The word stapes means stirrup, and indeed, it even looks like a tiny stirrup. Hmm. Imagine how small the horse would have to be. And now we're at the cochlea, a spiral-shaped tube that's full of liquid that moves around like a wave. Tiny hairs along the walls of the cochlea move as sound passes through it. Each hair sends messages to the brain, creating the sensation of sound. The inner ear also helps control balance. The hairs can sense whether the liquid is moving this way, that way, or moving around and around. Messages are then sent to the brain, which helps us to stay balanced. Now, sometimes we all feel dizzy. If you've been spinning around or moving quickly in different directions, that swooshing liquid carries on moving after you've stopped, and that can make your brain very confused. It might have happened to you after you've got off a roller coaster ride. After a while, the liquid settles down, you feel better again, and then head off for another ride. Whee! Professor, are you okay? What? Huh? I want another ride. You've been dreaming, Hallux. Screaming? I wasn't screaming, was I? I mean, I know I snore a bit. No, you were asleep. Heard a sheep? No, I haven't heard a sheep. The sooner we get your ears checked, the better. Hallux's Hearing Help Desk, with support from Phonak. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.